Hey everybody, Orb24 here with yet another Minecraft video. As you can see, we're going for just straight up round three due to the failure of round two. I didn't point it out in the video because I didn't notice as I was making it, but in my comments that I made, you could see it was on survival. This time, we're on hardcore for sure. Now, world C generation. Um, I'm hoping, because I have made some survival worlds, I've tested. I've tested them out just for um, the editing software that I'm using now. Secret, actually, it'll be in the comments. But um, anyway, I was just testing out some worlds, testing with gamma checks and all that stuff, and I was getting a nasty little problem where it seemed like everything I was generating was a world on an island with no trees. So this world better not be on an island with wow i'm awesome on an island with no trees all right that's the, gonna be the seed of this one because if i'm on an island with no trees this will go up as you guys will know because you are watching it this will go up and it will just be a miserable failure because i'll be on an island with no trees and you can't do anything on an island without trees all right, so here we go. Uh, come on, huh, trees, yes. All right, this isn't going to be an insta fail anyway. All right, let's see if I can actually get through more than one episode on the same map. Wouldn't that be a great day? Doing the standard. Getting the logs. You know the drill by now. Basically, I'm just going to get the standard things. And I will come back to you guys. When I start looking around a little bit more. And doing what I do. As you guys can see, I just want to point out. I killed a chicken earlier this time. This time I will have food. Thinking ahead of this time around, instead of waiting till night with no, f with no food and about to die and quickly needing to craft a bed, not gonna happen this time. All right, actually, that's like a nice little spot here. Um, we'll see. I'm gonna give a quick look around and I'll get back to you guys when I decide where I'm gonna be. All right, as you can see, I moved on a little bit, and well, once I start my timer. All right. I moved on a little bit, and I found this area. Very nice little area. We got a river. Leads out here. Hopefully, it leads out into an ocean that way. I'll be exploring that. Potential cave system. I haven't really gone into it. I haven't done a whole lot. I saw this area, said I liked it, and I got right back onto recording. So, yep, let's get started. Let's get to the essentials. See, I picked up some seeds already, too, so I'll be able to get a lot more done this time around. Wow, that's a cave down there. We got a lot of potential around here. This is going to be good. I have a good feeling about this one. No early deaths. Uh, and we'll probably just hollow out a home into here. Probably our best bet. Make the wooden pickaxe. Get three cobble. Wooden becomes obsolete. Some people I see will just continue to mine out with it. As you can see right here, I'm still going. I got six. But, you know, I'm done with it now. Just toss it over there. I don't want it anymore. There we go. Cobblestone pickaxes. There we go. Uh, I believe the first goal will be to go into here. Hollow it out a little bit, get some more cobblestone for more tools in the near future, and just have that beginning hollowed out area for the beginner home that I'm going to be making here. Not going to go for anything fancy, I'm just going to have this nice little area. I'll hollow out another area, or I might go up a little bit and build a little, I don't know what you want to call it, <laughs> cove type thing where I'll grow wheat so I can make bread. Or I'll just do it right out front of my house here. Or a little 
I guess it's more of a cave. I'm being more of a caveman right now. But now I'm gonna venture on over. See if I can find any cobblestone. And yes, I'm going into a dark area, but and I didn't mean cobblestone, definitely meant coal. Yeah, I'm going into a dark area, but like I said, video editing, I believe I was doing it right. And this part should be quite visible to everybody. Uh, I was, like I said, I was doing some tests in dark areas, making sure that I was editing the video correctly and it was visible and still looked good. And I believe I was hitting that right on the head. So everybody should have no problems seeing this section right here and any other sections where I happen to not have light. If you are still having problems, let me know. I'll see what I can do. But I believe I have this problem fixed. Anyway, so I'm getting my basic coal here. Um, just gonna roam down, down, see if it it does stop at the end here. Except it sounds like it's hollow on the other side. I'm gonna quickly craft some torches here. All right, solid. Um, yeah, it definitely sounds like I can just go right on the other side of this spot here, and I'll be running into some people. Well, we'll come back down here. We'll save that for another day, but I'm pretty sure you guys can hear that just as well as I can. It's definitely zombies and skeletons. Should make for an interesting venture. Uh, I'm going to go with trying to remember to put torches on the left side to identify my way back out of cave systems. I try that often. Usually I end up failing, and I start putting them on the right wall, start putting them right in the center. And I won't stick to my pattern at all. But, such is life. Alright, which wall did it? Right wall? I think I said right wall. No, left wall. I said left wall. Alright. Um, it looks... That's cool. I don't think that counts as right wall, because this is more of a dead end. Oh, nope, it's not a dead end. Left wall. Sick. Well, this is cool. This is probably coming right from the river that's above us. Well, this is a pretty cool little area. Alright. Got my base exploring in. I'm just going to get right back at it, though. I'm going to see. This is what I hate. We have this dark area. I have to put one on that wall. Okay, forget what I said earlier, because I, I'm not going to follow it. <laughs> I know better. I'm not going to follow it at all. Alright, starting to get low on food, but I do have that chicken. I'll cook that up. So, not too worried about that. I have a lot of coal. Extremely useful. I only have two iron this time around. That's a little bit sad. I kind of <laughs> wish I was still on map one. 21 iron. That was awesome. I usually don't find big things like that at the beginning. We got pumpkins over here, though. Pumpkins. Um, I'm getting sidetracked. I don't know why. There's like a force just pulling. Okay. Okay. I'll go back later. There are so many places here. This is, yeah, this is going to be good. And, um, I've had some people showing concern. Not particularly in the comments, but I've talked to some people showing concern about going to the end. Um, and for people that don't know the end, that's added in the 1.9 version 4 release. And basically the only way back from the end is death. And obviously death in hardcore means you're deleting your map. Well, the end will be more of exactly what it sounds like. End game. I'm going to go there, I'm going to build there, and I'm going to live there for as long as possible, and when I die there, I'll die there. I don't plan on coming back from the end once I go there. It's going to be a venture where I will either lit find a perfect way to live there forever, and maybe die by some stupid mistake, which is what the majority of the reasons I die are. Or I find out that I can't live there. I just can't make it. Can't have a... Ooh, an egg. Can't have a sufficient source of food or something, and I end up dying. It's going to be an end game thing, though. I'm not... Oh, God, I'm only at three food. I'm not going to be going there early. I'm not going to be throwing away the series as quick as possible by going to the end. That's not happening. 
it's going to be probably the last thing I do. So if you are here mainly to see the end as the new thing, I started to disappoint on that, but I will not be going there anytime soon. Um, however, where'd that torch go? However, I will um, upload a video of just exploring the end in, say, creative mode or something to show off the Ender Dragon when it fully gets put in. It isn't in this pre-release. There is a way to get them. You put a couple of files in and I don't know. It's a, it's a little weird. It's not too complicated. I, I could do it if I really, really wanted to, but I'm not too concerned about it. Um, see here, I'm over the 10 minute mark. I'm just going to be hollowing stuff out for the night here and getting the base set up. I'll either come back in the morning when I start going back out to do some more things, or I will come back after I'm done making some things here and I decide to go out venturing into some of those caves see what we can get but first I'm gonna make this throw down the furnace um, best way to go about this since I'm cooking up one piece is to just make sticks put in two sticks and put in the raw chicken just in case anyone was curious that is the most efficient way not burning up a whole coal now and uh, it's two sticks, you know, whatever. It cook two sticks cook one piece of food. Perfect. So that'll make me through. I can make some more torches. And all right, that's gonna close it up for this episode, everybody. Um, like I said, hopefully this episode will go a lot better than one and two. Well, this whole series now will go a lot better than episodes one and two. Um. Alright, tune in next time, episode 4. I'm putting them out relatively quick right now. Um, it'll probably stay that way. Not much else to say on that. It'll probably stay that way. I'll be putting them out quick. But, doesn't mean quality will go down. I will, like I said, try and be making these high quality videos. Videos. Yeah, words. Awesome. Okay, bye.